Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how to execute one pipeline from an another pipeline. And not only that, what if the child pipeline fails? How the main pipeline is going to react? So all this we are going to cover in this video. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. I have already created this Azure Data Factory. If you don't know how to create, just watch my introduction video about ADF. For this activity, I need two pipeline. The first one is going to be our main pipeline. Let me name it and let me create one more pipeline which is going to be our child pipeline. We want to execute this child pipeline from the main pipeline. Uh, I need to add some activity. So let me add an activity. I'm going to use wait activity. Let me drag and drop. So this is a simple activity. It will just wait for the specified uh, seconds. That's it. Here it is hard coded wait in seconds. So here we are going to parameterize this part and the parameter value will be supplied from the main pipeline. Let me show how to do. So in order to parameterize this, just click somewhere outside here in the canvas and click on new. Let me create a parameter and the type seconds will be an integer, right? So let me select integer and click on the activity. Let me remove it and let me click add dynamic content and here we are able to find our created parameter under here just select it that's it if you want to run this pipeline you need to supply that uh, wait time in seconds so this value we need to pass now let me jump to our main pipeline here let me show how we can run the child pipeline from here in order to execute search for execute pipeline task just drag and drop let me minimize the unwanted tab so that we can see everything here here just click on settings under setting we need to select the pipeline from our drop down i have only one pipeline so let me select that pipeline and here if you see the parameter it automatically came up here so let me specify the time in seconds and here if you see wait on completion is checked so let me show what it will do so first of all it is initially checked let's see what will happen let's run it so it got completed what it does is it will execute the child pipeline and it will wait for the child pipeline completion then only here it will complete so here it took around 11 seconds what if we uncheck it if we uncheck it what will happen is it will just execute it it won't wait for the completion results so it will uh, complete in a shorter duration see only two seconds what will happen if our child pipeline fails in both scenario wait for uh, wait on completion and wait on uh, completion if it is unchecked what will happen so first let's see how we can fail this child pipeline in order to make it fail simple just search for fail so after uh, wait activity it will make this pipeline fail so just drag and drop and here under settings we need to provide a failure message and the error code i'm going to put it as 400 so depending upon your scenario you can just pass it up it's up to you now let's go back here here if you see wait on completion is still there so if i execute let's see if main pipeline is failing see here the main pipeline got failed because we have enabled wait on completion so it is waiting for its completion but the child pipeline didn't get completed it got failed so the main pipeline also got failed so if we uncheck it it will just execute it won't wait for its completion so even if child pipeline fails main pipeline won't fail and that's it follow me on linkedin to stay connected if you have any scenarios something like this ping me on linkedin i will try my best to make a video on it but it will take some time to produce a video thank you for watching bye bye